Hey you guys, in this video I have the unboxing and hands-on of the ASUS Transformer Book. This is a hybrid or two-in-one Windows tablet. It comes with a keyboard. Uh, you can use it as a like a small laptop or a netbook or however you want to call it. Uh, and this one, this one is the 64 gigabyte version. Um, I just got it today for two, $379 from Walmart very good price um this is a 10.1 inch like you see right here 10.1 it is a 64 gigabyte and it comes with the new item intel quad core processor that speeds up to 1.8 gigahertz and believe me guys it flies very good um over here of course it has a usb 3.0 which is awesome this is a full USB 3.0 and um, Asus claimed that this will give you at least 11 hours of battery life which is awesome over here in the back like you see it has uh, the Asus warranty thing it has a one year warranty zero bright dot dot guarantee two way free chipping if you have to chip it and 24 24 7 technical support now you might be asking didn't I just unbox a Dell Venue 8. Yes, I did and it was awesome. The problem is that since I have a Galaxy Note 3 phone um, The size of the tablet that I need it has to be bigger You know it has to be a 10.1 and I also wanted to have the full USB 3.0 instead of using the U um, OTG cable, but there was nothing wrong with that tablet that tablet is an amazing tablet and it has an amazing sound as well so I got myself the Asus Transformer book, like you see right here. This is the tablet right here. Uh, like you see, two in one ultra portable laptop with a 10 inch tablet. It says Intel quad core processor, wide, nice and view angle, a complete USB 3.0 super speed port, detachable keyboard, all day battery life, and it comes with the full Microsoft Office Home and Student 2013. So it comes with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and Note as well. And the great thing about this, this is a full Windows 8. This is not RT, so that is great. Over here, we got the keyboard, which looks pretty nice, looks pretty nice. Okay, so over here we got the block, comes with the ACES block right here. Um, over here we got some paperwork, all that deal, and the USB, micro USB cable. The great thing is that this tablet actually recharges with a normal micro USB cable. That means you could charge it with your Android smartphones cable, which is awesome. So let's put that to the side Okay, so I'm just gonna take this out And this out carefully there. I don't want to ruin the plastic just in case I have to turn it in um, Here it is like you see 10.1 inches Over here in the side we have the volume rocker this right here, believe it or not, is the home button because this looks like a button, but this not a button. The home button is right here. That would be your Windows button. Um, over here, all you see is the connection for the dock. That's it. Over here, you got the micro USB charging port and you have a mini USB port that lets you connect this to the TV and use your TV as a second monitor. And you also have the uh, headphone jack right there and your micro micro SD slot which uh, you could put up to 64 gigabytes so you got 64 gigabyte plus another 64 gigabytes that's gonna be enough memory if you t ask me um, over here in the bottom you got a microphone right there that's the microphone and this is the power button right here Okay, and here is the keyboard. Let's go ahead and take the keyboard out of the package. Everything is well wrapped. And here it is. Like you see right here, it looks very nice. Of course, they feel very good, honestly. 
And here is the USB 3.0 port, which is for me is very essential when you have a tablet that's full, full windows, full windows. That's awesome. Here you got nothing. Over here you got nothing. And over here you got nothing. Over here in the back you have the Windows logo. And that's it. Okay, so the tablet would go right there. Just like that. Let me go ahead and see how easy this snaps in. Okay. Okay, yes, it did snap in already. And when we close it, this is how it looks. Not bad having the ability to have a two-in-one device. I think it's very, very good. And the tablet on itself feels very nice. As a, as a standalone tablet, it still feels very, very nice. Nice. Uh, keep in mind, this does not give any juice or power to the tablet itself. So let's go ahead and open it up again. And to take it off, all you need is to press the button and it will automatically come off. It comes very easily on and off, which is very cool. Right there, it's already a test. And press the button and it's already off. Very cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, set it up, and we'll be back. Okay guys, just finished setting everything up. It took a while because I had to install Microsoft Office. And I did a couple updates that were available already for the, this tablet already. Uh, make sure you do those updates available. That way um, they will be improving also the tablet because um, um, Asus actually had an update available. This is the desktop, nice wallpaper there. Uh, when you open this up for the first time, make sure you click here. And I think you have to click right here. There's gonna be like a pop-up right here that says there's some updates available for for your ta for your tablet which are very very crucial uh, make sure you do that um, when you buy this tablet you actually get one terabyte of cloud storage for free i think that's for a year but it's one terabyte which is cool but right now i'm going to do that later on um, of course like i said before this is the full windows 8, uh, windows 8 experience you're going to get here so that means you will be able to go ahead here, for example, and and search for uh, your favorite browser that you like. Uh, you will be able to install here a Firefox, Google Chrome, if you want. Like I said, for example, here. Let's open that up. <laughs> and of course, you could use your finger to slide everything open. And of course, you will be able to install any browser that you want. You could, will be able also to install um, Steam, which is very cool as well. That from there, you could get some games as well. Uh, this tablet also has uh, speakers over here in the back, which I didn't see at first. One here and one over here. And it sounds pretty, pretty loud, very loud. Um, let me show you guys. Let me put the the this up a little bit the brightness uh the battery i was surprised that when i turned this on this actually had no battery at all so let me go ahead and turn open this game up so you guys can see the audio listen to the audio very loud that is very very loud very nice let's try this so you guys can see this is a demo available So like you can see, you can actually do gaming here. Uh, you can also download games on your own from, for example, Steam or, or anywhere else. But you can also get games from the App Store. And that sounds incredible. Now, uh, like I said before, let me lower this down. <laughs> the volume is right over here. And like I said before, this right here is not a button. So you would have to press right here and it takes you to the home screen which is not bad it doesn't bother me because like you see you have the you're holding the tablet like this uh, all you got to do is get used to it you know it's going to be a, a muscle memory because if you had the surface before you're going to keep reaching over here and it's nothing going to happen so yeah oh wait a second it's over here so that's going to be a time to get used to um also let me show you guys something else here like for example i said this you could go right here um, over here, you can also, let's plug in the keyboard. 
plugs in very very easily right there and let me go ahead and plug the key the the USB drive right here you can plug it in right here and it's giving me the battery warning because uh, it's like I said this this came out came out of the box without any power at all so right here we got the option to open up and like you see right there I can go ahead and open up the the my drive right here I could go ahead and click right here in this PC and I can see the storage space available this is a 64 gigabyte and it is available only 34 or 35 gigabytes uh, but that's not bad that's honestly that's not bad and remember you can put up to 64 gigabytes here and you have the thing right here as well and I could go ahead and open any file that I want from my USB stick and which is which is awesome that's very cool look at that right there so let me go ahead back here I can press the button over here to navigate to the home screen which is very cool let's go back over here let's go back over here um, let me go ahead and open up before my, my this turns off uh, word 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 over here let's go ahead and open up word so you guys can see uh, this keyboard actually feels very good you know for being it remember you're paying three hundred and seventy nine dollars for this version which is a 64 gigabyte you could get the 32 gigabyte that is 349 but for thirty dollars more you might as well get the get the 64 and you will have more space also available to install the apps because um, if you get the 32 gigabytes, I, I played with it at Best Buy, and it only has 16 gigabytes available, which, oh my God, that's going to be filled right away. So right here, I could go ahead, for example, open one of my documents that I used. The great thing about Windows is that when once you log in with your, docu with your Microsoft login, all your documents, all your apps, everything's going to sync back to your new tablet, which is a very good feature from the... Uh, from Windows. Let's go ahead and open this document. If it opens up, oh, like you see right there, uh, that document, I could go ahead and easily um, type right here. Let me see how it works over here. The keyboard. Like I said, the touchpad is not perfect. I don't like using the touchpad um, too much, but when you have a touchscreen, why the hell use the, why use the touchpad right but like you see you can write using here of course perfectly good and that's it let me go ahead and turn that get that out of there very good and of course um, like I said you can install apps from anywhere thanks God this has Flipboard as well which is one of my favorite apps on any device that I get okay I just finished entering my account my Flipboard account and like you see here I can use my keyboard over here this thing is gonna turn off <laughs> so like you see I could use my keyboard to navigate over here if I want let me see but I think it, it's it reset because I touched the screen but like you see right here I could easily go through my pages right there very cool I could go ahead and open everything anything here and I could just browse like you would on any other device. Um, and of course, you got lots of great um, YouTube apps. And these YouTube apps from Windows, I love them because every single one of them, you could download any video very easily to your device, which makes it even better. And they have a very, very nice interface. I got lots of apps here that I like from Windows and that I carry from you know I've been using from other devices like iOS and, and Android there's a lot of them here and the store keeps on growing as well like you see there's Netflix there you got this is the app store right here and right here you got lots of apps available right now they're advertising a couple apps there like for example these are um, better with X together with Xbox one <laughs> uh, let's go back yeah, this is Asus Thanksgiving Picks. And yeah, like you see, this is getting better each day. You got the Ghost Call of Duty Ghost app and Asphalt 8. 
and lots a lots of way of course it has your facebook your twitter i believe um we just got over here instagram but right now you can't take um images yet uh this has a front facing camera only and it's a uh, if i'm not mistaken it's a two megapixel front facing camera which is good i don't mind because um, this is a tablet you can see right there take a snapshot by just tapping the screen I could go over here and like you saw on other videos of Windows tablet that I've, I've done, they all have the same interface of this, which is awesome. So, and like I said, this is a quad core uh, device and with a two gigabytes of RAM. You can also put in your, your memory stick over here and you can also connect it to your TV using the, the micro, uh, the mini uh, HDMI cable here connecting here to uh, normal HDMI. I don't have a cable like that right now, so I can't show you guys how it works. But if I get one, I will try to show you guys everything you can do uh, the, with this connected to the computer, to the TV. Okay, guys, this is all I'm going to record right now because the battery of this tablet is dying. And um, it's going to take a while before I completely charge it. And also, Asus claimed that this gives you 11 hours of better life, but it came totally drained out of the box. So don't be scared if, the, if your tablet does not turn on. Make sure you plug it in before you do anything else here. So, guys, uh, this is all for this video. This was an unboxing and first hands-on of the Asus Transformer Book T100. Till next time, guys.